Okay, YouTube, I'm back again with an update, okay? I actually did want to test out, and I did test out whether or not this thing will accept power from the grid tie inverter um, if you don't have the loads to balance it out, okay? And, you know, I felt that, you know, I, one, I wanted to know, and, t and two, I wanted folks, other people to know, so if something bad happened, you know, I, you, there's a, a bit of responsibility on my part, too, because... You know, I don't want to give anybody the impression that, you know, this, you know, that there was no risk at all. So, you know, not a problem. I went and I bit the bullet. And yes, I have verified that it will fry your inverter. It doesn't fry anything else, but it will fry your inverter. I have to get my re inverter repaired, okay, as a, as, as a result, okay. Um, so, as, I, as I'm saying, yes, it will fry your inverter. If your loads, if you run this in conjunction with your pure sign and you do not have enough loads uh, to, um, you know, to, to take the power that's coming in, your, it, will, it will fry your inverter, okay? So, I have verified it, okay? Yes, it's a sad day, <laughs> okay, for me. It's a sad day, but... But I can get it repaired, and I will get it repaired. And I just wanted my YouTube viewers to know. And you know, besides, as I said, this is something that we all should know. And you know, at least you know you know where I stand when it comes to uh, you know letting people know things. Because hey, if there's a safety issue, I definitely want you to know. Okay, YouTube, wish me luck. And uh, again, if you run your grid tie inverter in a private personal grid and it, you know if you do not balance the loads if you do not balance the loads okay if you've got more power coming in than you are consuming yes you do run the risk of frying your inverter okay yes you do and it will fry okay all right take care you two